Imagine being so idiotic that you have to study magic, rely on some mystical force like a god or a demon for magic, or even relying on nature to bring in wimpy animals to help fight. Not me though, I'm an artificer, the newest class in D&D. This class is the builder of the group. You know in those Batman cartoons where he literally had the answer to every situation in his tool belt? That's his class. Instead of channeling magic through a wand or a gem, the artificer casts magic through building shit super fast in the heat of battle. I'm using air quotes here because technically, their magic isn't real magic. So unlike sorcerers who shoot acid out of their hands, artificers quickly brew a bottle of the stuff and yeet it in the enemy's face. This class is super flavorful, like a delicious dinner that you want to keep eating until it hurts to even breathe. While yes, this class is considered a spellcaster, it isn't nearly as fragile and can get into the thick of it. You can wield simple weapons, wear light armor and medium armor, and have a shield. This class is crazy. At first level, you can give any item a very basic visual effect like glowing or making it look like it's moving, or even have a picture attached to it, or even a fucking 25 word text message. Getting to level two makes this class arguably one of the strongest early game classes in the entire game. They get what's called infusion, where they can either replicate magic items or enhance basic items you have. So at level two, these fuckers can have a plus one sword, plus one armor, a bag of holding, and a cap of water breathing. So essentially, a shipwreck off the coast that holds tons of valuable items is no longer a problem for this class. And the items that you get at higher level are fucking ridiculous. I don't nearly have enough time to go over them all, so just take my word for it. And then we get to the ridiculousness that is their subclasses. Out of the trio that is available for the Artificer, the Alchemist is definitely the weirdo of the group. They experiment and just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. They can even make you drink a potion that makes you change shape in any way, shape, or form. Like giving you wings, cause you know, that's normal. On the bright side, Alchemists are the healers of the three subclasses. Next up is the Artillerist, which is the fighter side of the class. They focus on damage and can build cannons that can walk or stick on walls. These cannons can shoot fire, ballista, or straight up positive energies. And another thing that is a little fucked up about the artillery subclass is that they can turn their wand into a fucking gun. This means that the spells you cast from it get an extra d8 of damage. Combine this with magic missile and fuck everything in your way, cause that's an average of seven damage per dart and you fire three of them as a first level spell. And this is all at level five. Lastly, we get to the battlesmith, arguably one of the coolest subclasses available. When they were handing out specialties, this subclass decided to take both damage and healing and then came back to take a bit of from the ranger class. They get a mechanical pet called a steel defender. The pictures all show metal dogs, but that's just what's pictured. You can literally have it be whatever you want. Metal velociraptor, done. The only condition is that it has to have the same stats. And if your pet ever gets hurt, just cast a cantrip mending to fix it. And that good boy is up for more fights. You can command this thing to attack as a bonus action. So it's not nearly as bad as the Beastmaster ranger. Oh, and I forget that this thing has a fucking force field to protect it against melee attacks. It also automatically comes with the alert feat. So long rests are covered by just this guy. At higher levels, the good boy can either harm enemies or heal friends with an arcane jolt. This subclass seems to focus on the seal defender more than the artificer itself. Honestly, you give a party of three. And as long as each of them took one of these subclasses, they'd be able to roll up on any early game boss and stomp them. And the worst part is, they don't get weaker as they level up. They continue to grow in power. Granted, not by much, but when you're already at the near peak of power from the get-go, that little bit of growth won't really matter. There is one weakness to the class though. Their spells cap out at six level spells. So it's not like they can go around inventing wish granting devices or a machine that when you throw a dead body into it, pops out the person back to life. So I mean, I guess that's a plus, but yeah, this class seems fun and I can't wait for my players to try to run with it and try to work in as much flavor as possible. This has been a page from the DM's notebook on Artificer.